Kia ora whanau and welcome to a, another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. Uh, I am your host, Alex Costas, and today's episode is going to be, we're going to be talking about motivation and also a little bit about stress, uh, as well as things like um, what inspires me as well during those times when I do feel like there's a bit much on. So the reason why we're covering this this time is... I'll be honest, uh, there is a bit going on in my life, and it has been a bit much. Uh, um, I won't get into the exact uh, specifics, uh, but let's just say that uh, my life has been a little bit busier than it would be normally, um, and as such, it's made me be a a little bit stressed, and there have been times when I've sort of lost a bit of motivation, so now I'm trying to work on how to get back into that motivation, how to get back to being all that I can be, I know, I know, the American, but we're not talking about the American army at the moment, we're just talking about the Costas army, Um, so, give you a little bit of background, I'm usually very good with stress, okay, Um, if you do know me personally, you will know what I've gone through in my life, Uh, the things that have challenged me, um, have been very stressful for a lot of people and for some reason I used to just sort of let it drip off like uh, the the famous saying about water off a duck's back well that was me very much Um, and I used to put a lot of it on the side so I would sort of not deal with anything at the time uh, and basically just uh, let it unfortunately I let it fester Um, of course I know that is not the right thing to do now uh, it is much better to accept those feelings, take those feelings, and actually work through those feelings. Um, and that has been very hard to do, but it has been a great way of being able to further develop my stress levels and actually work on them. So what are the ways that you deal with stress? Well, one of the ways that I can deal with stress, and, and for each person it is completely different Um, but what works for me uh, is when I actually it sounds weird but just literally take a deep breath slow myself down so yeah I I find that taking that deep breath just a I'm exhaling out a lot of stress Now, I'm not going to be like, one breath does it all. I do a few. I do like 10. Sometimes, you know, I might do five minutes of just deep breathing. But what I find is after a while, it clears my head. It clears my mind. And I'm able to actually focus on what it is I need to do. Um, I know I've talked about previously when I go for interviews I like to sort of calm myself down and I calm myself down by literally doing exactly that I take 10 deep breaths and in the middle of me pumping myself up but that deep breath thing is really really it's a way of showing mindfulness now I have talked about mindfulness before just in brief Um, I try I, I will probably one day look at actually covering this A bit more, um, I did do an episode on it called Ready, Set, Mindset, uh, Ready, Mindset, Go. Um, But I don't really go too deep into the mindfulness things. There's plenty of resources out there that you can learn um, through Google or um, there's apps as well that you can use. For me personally, um, I found mindfulness to be quite helpful and uh, good for me when I am trying to focus and just calm down basically. Um... Now, that is one way of calming the stress. Another way is doing something that you actually like doing, taking yourself out of it. So for me, um, one of the things that I have uh, previously done is, okay, I love video games. I'm going to put it out there. I am not a fantastic gamer. Okay, I suck royally. But either watching someone play a game or trying to play a game myself it does help, it literally, it calms me, like looking at something going, oh, how do I do this, now I'm not talking those kind of games which like first person shooters or, you know, 
something like a, a fighting game, which is going to get my my heart rate up and make me oh oh what am I doing oh um, I'm talking more the story games, and it might be something like um, for example for the PlayStation Four, which I play um, the Spider Man game. Not necessarily doing the story, not doing the side quests, literally swinging around, web slinging around. Uh, it's the same as Horizon Zero Dawn, just finding a, a creature and then riding it, or Red Dead Redemption 2, same deal, jumping on a horse and literally riding, looking at the scenery that's there, um, looking at the graphics, just everything, listening to the to the sounds, <clears throat> and just thinking about the open space, effectively, and it, it helps me sort of centre a little bit, and it takes my mind off what makes me stressed. Because, you know, I will do the occasional side quest or the occasional main mission, but the main thing is, I'm just out there, it's like the same deal as going for a walk, effectively. Well, so if there's a time when I can't get out, so, for example, during COVID, um, I, because of my previous health issues, I am pretty much relegated to working from home during our COVID lockdown in New Zealand that we had. And that meant that I was pretty much only allowed to go out when we did shopping. And I had to be very, very careful and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, and I found it very hard to sort of just to settle. So I spent a lot of time uh, during that, during COVID, playing some video games. And those video games were exactly what I talked about. Things like the Spider-Man and stuff. But most of that time was literally just web slinging and, you know, or or doing general walking uh, or riding or something along those lines because I couldn't do it, I couldn't get out to do it properly. But I want to know what you do. Like, what's the thing that keeps you on track? What's the thing that keeps you, well, you know, breathing? What's the thing that gets you through your version of stress we all have stress um we all have different ways and i quite like to know what everyone does in order for them to push through what they need to now i also talked about what we're going to talk about what inspires me what you know who inspires me you know what what do i do to be motivated motivation has been a huge thing for me um, this last year has been an interesting one. Um, I have, I had a best friend who I'm no longer close with. Um, we had a bit of a falling out, unfortunately. Um, and he was my main motivation most of the time. Like, you know, we, we fed off each other. So I've had to find motivation myself. Now, part of my motivation is my partner. Um, she has helped me grow so much in the year and a half that we've been going out. And part of the reason, <laughs> she is the reason why I'm doing exactly the things like the podcast, the everything that I'm doing recently is kind of directly resulted as of due to her even the keto as you guys know so she is she is my inspiration for motivation but to actually get down to what motivates me um each thing that i mention now i am <clears throat> sort of endorsing but i have no you know, I, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not getting any money off them, okay? So this is just my own personal opinion. And if they help you, please let me know. Flick me an email. Flick me an email. Who motivates you? Who inspires you to be better? So first of all, we're going to go over this through each uh, individual part. So for the health, um, one of the person that before my partner that sort of motivated me to start thinking about, hey, I need to start sorting my shit out, sorting my life out. Um, there's a YouTuber. His name is Bricks, B-R-I-X, 
uh, Bricks Fitness. This man is truly an inspiration. He was like 300 pounds. He lost like, God knows, 200 pounds. Now he's fit, he's happy, he's healthy. Uh, he does the Get Well and Get Money podcast, which is an amazing listen to. They don't just go into the whole, hey, this is what you need to do to lose weight. He talks about the mentality of it, like how you change your mindset. I cannot recommend him enough to people. <clears throat> Another person that's also um, been a bit of an inspiration was Obese uh, to Beast, a uh, YouTuber who is just crazy. He was along the line, same lines as Bricks. And just seeing these guys, like, they were, seeing them be bigger than me and make the changes, that sort of stuff is, and, and then you see their journey, you see them doing their video journey, they talk about all the things that fat people sit there and go, oh, I wonder, is that true, you know, uh, like, you know, if you lose a lot of weight, what happens with the loose skin, do you get the operation, do you, can you tone off the, some of the loose skin, and they, they are completely open and honest and now they've turned themselves into quite motivational um, speakers and inspirations to people that do want to lose the weight but not only lose the weight but get healthy because I think that's the important part that needs to be it's not about diets okay it's about and I've said this in my podcast I don't like calling it a diet anymore because I die at it you know I fail diets um which is why it's more about changing your lifestyle. So <clears throat> I do want to uh, stress that out for people is, you know, go look at these guys on YouTube. Um, YouTube is one of the biggest resources we have now. And if you don't want to read any books, these guys are great ways to get into motivation. Um, at the very least, they will show you what you're doing right and give you simple changes so you can start to make those changes yourself. Um, now, of course... As I said before, my partner helped me hugely um, with changing to keto and changing that part of my life and realizing that, hey, I can do it and helping me lose about 10 kgs in about six months, um, which is a lot for me anyway. Um, now, not getting wrong, don't, don't get it wrong, I, I was bigger. I used to be 150 kgs um, about ooh, almost... 15, 16 years ago, and I lost about 10 kgs by myself, now that was just gradual, and I managed to keep it off, so most times when I lose the weight, I manage to keep it off, and I stay at around about that weight for a while, uh, I do fluctuate between 1 to 2 kgs, um, but when I do go through an actual proper weight loss, I might lose sort of 5 to 10 kgs, and then I'll stay at around what, what that is, but seeing these guys push through what they do, it is truly motivational and inspirational. Now, <clears throat> the next lot of people that I'm going to talk about are motivations in regards to things like money. Now, one of the things is I my money situation is not fantastic. I do have some debt. I've got about, at the moment, I've had about maybe 13k. Uh, I did used to have close to 25 to 26k um, of debt. I've managed to knock out close to 10 to 12k of that. Um, and specifically at the moment, I'm sitting at about 16, well, maybe about 15k total um, that I still need to pay off. Now that is a that is still a lot, uh, but I do want to pay that off in sort of twelve months, if possible. Um, and that is that is a very achievable and real goal. Um, that is part of why I'm doing the passive income. That is why I'm trying to do this business, is so I can start paying off that things, and then wanting to originally buy a house. That's the thing. I want to buy a house with my partner. I want to start a family, and that is motivation itself. But the kind of people that inspire me to do other things, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, 
Um, if you're listening to this podcast, you you may or may not have heard of him. The man has helped me so much for getting out of my shell and doing things socially. Part of the reason I'm doing this podcast is because he inspired me to do it. Um, watching his videos, he's been doing it for years. And though he doesn't call himself a motivational speaker, he really is motivational. Like, he's real with people. He tells you like it is. Um, he tells you how your social media should be and all that sort of thing, which is why my social media is blown up the way it has at the moment, because I'm doing things that he told me, hey, look, you guys can do this. Watch him on YouTube. He's amazing. Money-wise, uh, it's going to sound a bit weird, but Anthony Robbins, uh, old Tony, Tony Robbins, I am currently reading his book. I've read two others, two others of his books. Um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Mr. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Again, fantastic. Um, all these people, are, they may be motivational mostly for business and mostly for sort of wealth and all that sort of thing. But what you can take away from some of what they're saying is not just something that's just to do with wealth. It's about confidence. It's about setting yourself goals, doing the goals, following through with them. Um, and they do it in a way that, that actually inspires you to want to change. And that's the important thing. If you want to change, you will change. You don't want to change. Well, guess what? You'll find it very, very hard. You may have a few changes, but you won't fully change. You need to be fully committed. And that is a lot harder than... It sounds, I'm not going to lie, but I'm trying to do what I can to, to get there. Another person that I find really, really amazing and really helped me out of a dark space, Sarah Knight. Uh, she has a series of books which are quite funny, um, but also very real. Um... Yeah, I, I, I listened to an audio book of hers um, where she was the actual person speaking, which, if you get a chance, it's called Getting Shit Done, uh, as well as um, her first book, which is amazing. Um, it, it, just check her out, Sarah Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. Um, She's real. She tells it like it is. It's kind of like uh, the... It's like the motivational speaker um, where she swears like a pirate. But every time she swears, she means what she's saying. You know, it's... it's it emphasizes it. For someone like me, growing up the way I did, um, going through what I went through, yeah, she really, really breaks it down, which I love. I love that. Uh, another person that sort of motivates me, and this is going to sound, it's not going to sound right, but it's actually my mum and dad. Now, I don't mean that they motivate me. They were like, yeah, Alex, you can go do it. Go be great. The motivation part is wanting to change my life so I don't end up unhealthy like they were. My dad had... 11 heart attacks. My mum is currently very sick. I want to change my life so I don't end up like them. I don't want to... I, I want to be able to play with my kids when I have kids. I want to be able to have kids and be around. Now that is not diminishing at all what they've done for me. Uh, they have made me the man I am. Some of that is good, some of that is bad. Some of that is the shit that I spent like two years in, in counselling with. But the main thing is they have helped me grow. And I love them to bits. You, If you know me, you know I'm a mama's boy because my dad died early. But that said they do motivate me in that way 
You know, I want to be able to give my kids everything when I have them. I want to be able to play with them. I want to be able to provide for them. We we grew up in a bit of poverty, okay? We were not rich. We may have had a house, but that wasn't the main part. Like, we, uh, as a family, lived on the benefit for years and trying to provide for a kid on $130 a week after tax in hand not the easiest and I will always be thankful to my mum and my dad for doing that for still giving me as much as they did like I truly love them but I also want to be able to give my kids more so yeah Motivation for bettering my life. Inspirate who who inspires me? Those people inspire me. Um I would love to wake up and, you know, one day be the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Good looking, built like a brick shit house, rich, humble, a true gentleman. And he is one of the people that I sort of look to, like, you know what, I'm going to try to do that. Maybe not be as big as him and, and bulky and shit, but be healthy. Be loving at all times. Like, the man will stop for a, a fan autograph 90% of the time. So I want to be able to do that as well. Like, you know, get to the point where... I can be that humble. I can be that guy that gives away the world. That's why I give away my stuff for free. That's why I give away my information for free. Because I want to try and emulate him. Now, yes, he gets paid millions and he does his things. But he also does all his other stuff as well. Go look at The Rock on Instagram. Follow him. See what he does. The man is so amazing. That is where I want to get to in my life. That sort of mentality. That sort of person. Who inspires you? Tell me. Email me. DonCostas at gmail.com I want to hear from you. My community. Ladies. What women inspire you? What men? The men that listen... Who inspire you? And I'm not talking about, you know, when I say, you know, who inspires you, I'm not talking about like, oh, I wish I was like this person. What qualities? What is it that they do that make you go, yeah, that person's amazing. I wish I was more like them. Is it their individuality? Is it their a stance on a specific item? Is it the way that they act? Is it... You know, I'm not talking about material things, not not like, you know, oh, well, they have this much money and that's why I want. No, I, I want to know why then. Because what I'm trying to do with this podcast at the moment, with this particular episode, is I want to be further inspired. And I want you guys to help. Because if I can try and help you look at someone else and go, hey, look, have a look at Gary Vee, have a look at Robert... Kiyosaki, have a look at Sierra Knight and you actually pick it up and you go, wow, this person's amazing. If I can help you in that little way that like that person has helped me, it would mean the world to me. It's like paying it forward. It's the whole process, you know. If I give you information and I give you motivation to change or at the very least think about changing, even just having that thought, that counts as well. So I thank you for taking the time to listen. 
I thank you for putting up with uh, the randomness of this episode out of nowhere. I hope it helped. If you do want to know more, or if you do want to ask me, hey, what books, you can go onto my website. I mention them quite a bit in some of my posts. You can also directly email me. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm on all of them. All of my details are in the, uh, they'll be in the show notes through my website, Costless Enterprises. Uh, feel free to have a look at my two um, t-shirt design websites. Tell me what you think of the designs. Tell me what you think of the storefront. Honest feedback. No, no problems with that. But until next time, have a great day. Good luck. And I'll talk to you next week.